Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's dive brief, I'm going to be comparing two very popular scuba diving masks, the Apex VX1 UV mask and the Atomic Aquatics Venom Arc mask. So these are two relatively premium dive masks, um, but a lot of people look at the coating on these two masks. And whilst in the photos, they both look purple, so they both kind of look the same, they actually do two different things. So let's compare and contrast these two very popular masks. Right, so first of all, we're looking at the price. How much do each of these masks cost? So the Apex VX1, the UV cut, has a current recommended retail price of £95. So I'm going off the recommended retail price, not the current web price, because they fluctuate. Even the RRPs, they fluctuate from time to time. So this information might be uh, incorrect in a year's time, but they do give you a, a sort of a rough guidance of, sort of how expensive uh, they are because when you compare that 95 pounds to the 180 pounds rrp of the atomic aquatics venom arc mask that's where you're really getting the two different price brackets now they're both premium but the atomic aquatics as with most of their uh, sort of equipment range is uh, sort of a, a super premium because they only use the nicest uh, sort of materials and very fine sort of quality to their finish. But these two do have a vastly different price or pretty much twice as much. So at the moment, the Apex mask is winning. Next, moving on to the glass lenses, because this is quite arguably the most important part of your mask, the glass that you're literally looking and seeing the underwater world through. So you want the best quality glass possible. So these two are both in what I would uh, sort of classify as optical grade, because they've had the impurities inside of the glass that can affect the color and the contrast. They've had all of those impurities removed. Um, now, depending on where the glass is made, they tend to have different names. The Atomic Aquatic one that has ultra clear scott super white glass lenses in them which is a super premium uh, sort of optical grade glass so very high quality <clears throat> the apex that has pure clear glass lenses so similar in that it has that uh, all of those impurities removed but not quite such a, a sort of high grade from what i could discover um they're both very very good but if i was going to give edge to either one of them it would be to the atomic aquatics Next, we move on to the coating or the lens treatments. Now, this is where most people get confused between these two masks because not all lens coatings are the same. So the lens coating on the, the VX1, the, uh, the Apex mask, that is a UV treated lens. So what that means is that it filters out certain wavelengths of light, specifically the HEV, the kind of the ultraviolet uh, sort of waves, which are quite damaging to our bodies. It gives you sunburn it can damage your eyes so that's what that's filtering out so this is really better for really bright environments if you're diving around the tropics um, just in very bright environments where on the surface especially you've got the light sort of bouncing off the waves and into your eyes they kind of act a bit like sunglasses in that they're filtering out that harmful range of, uh, of uv light so they're protecting your eyes the arc the arc coating on the atomic aquatics on the other hand is is different it's not filtering out any specific wavelengths it's an anti-reflective coating so in a way it's allowing greater light transmission in so by preventing the glass from reflecting on both sides, the inside and the outside, instead of light bouncing off the glass, it allows it to penetrate through so you can actually see better. It enhances your underwater vision and on the inside as well, it means you're less likely to get that kind of ghost eye image. Sometimes when you turn around and you look in sort of fairly shallow water, you can see the reflection of your own eye in that glass in front of you. The anti-reflective coating is gonna prevent that. So the ARC is a better sort of all-rounder, especially for photographers, so that they can see better, it enhances the contrast in the color. But if you're diving a lot in very bright conditions, then the UV coating would be better. 
The mask skirts are fairly comparable, as are the mask straps as well. The buckles are very, very similar. You have the same micro adjustments. So they're kind of level pegging at that point. Then we look onto the accessories that you get with the masks. Now with the Atomic Aquatics, you get a box that the mask comes in and the mask itself, and that's about it. With the Apex mask, you get a EVA case instead of one of those plastic boxes. It's actually one of those semi-rigid EVA cases that zips open and close, so you can reuse that quite comfortably. It also comes with a a replacement neoprene mask strap, which has Velcro adjustment if you want to sort of adjust those. So considering it's the cheaper mask, you actually tend to get more with it. So to compare these two masks, it's it's quite tricky because they're both, they're, they're very similar, but they're slightly different tools because of that lens coating. If we just look at the, the bare figures and the, the, the price and what you get with it, the Apex is the clear winner. But when you look at the actual lens treatments, they are different for a reason. The UV coating does exactly that. It just filters out UV light. However, the anti-reflective coating is actually enhancing what you can see in the water. So they're different tools. They do very similar jobs, but it's very much a matter of if you want a, a lens that will protect your eyes from harmful light, then I'd go down the apex route. If you want a lens more for photography to see more vibrant colors in the water, I'd go down the atomic aquatics route. However, if you're on a bit of a budget, then I just stick to the apex because you get more with it. They're both comparable as far as comfort and actual field of view. And what you actually get with the Apex is much more impressive with the box that it comes with and that removable neoprene strap if you want to use that. Uh, however, if you want the, the very best, the finest sort of finish and the finest materials, then you'd go for the Atomic Aquatics. But for me, in my books, I'd buy the Apex. Both masks are available on our website, simplyscuba.com. There's going to be links down in the description below so you can check them out. Uh, and next week's, we're going to be looking at two dive computers, the new Aqualung i330R and comparing that against the almost as new Shearwater Peregrine dive computer, small recreational dive computers with a color screen. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe so you are notified as soon as we release that. Uh, but which of these two masks was your favorite and why? Let us know down in the comments below which one you would invest in. And if you want us to compare any other specific uh, sort of pieces of dive equipment to dive computers, to regulators, let us know which ones and why down in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and of course, safe diving.